what's going on guys Mike Murtis Gamer Logic here and today I wanted to do a unboxing video I happened to be at the flea market a couple of days ago and a guy was selling a whole bunch of boxed Game Boy Advance loose Game Boy Advance and a few other titles most of it was sports stuff Mary Kate Ashley you know stuff that uh, not too many people would be interested in unless they're looking for a complete compl uh, collection of complete and box games, right? Uh, but I, I always take a look through just in case because you never know what you're going to find. And I actually found a sealed copy of Deja Vu 1 and 2, the case books of Ace Harding. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Deja Vu series, it is a Mac Venture game in the same vein as uh, Shadowgate. Deja Vu, of course, and the Uninvited. These games were put on the uh, Apple computer series of computers and then ported to all sorts of different computers. But the version I know and a lot of other people know is the NES versions of these games, Shadowgate, Deja Vu, Uninvited. And Deja Vu was one of those games on the NES. It did okay. And actually, I remember seeing in a 1992 issue of Nintendo Power that a uh, sequel to Deja Vu was coming out. Of course, it was already out in the Mac Venture series on the Apple computer, but it excited me because I loved the series and loved playing them on the NES, so I was really looking forward to a sequel. It got canned probably because it was pretty late in the life cycle of the NES developmental uh, era, and uh, I believe it was eventually ported over to the Game Boys, so this has both Deja Vu 1 and 2 on it, and I saw it, it was sealed, and uh, I, I couldn't pass it up for the price it was given to me, and uh, even though it's sealed, uh, this Deja Vu 2 is something I've never played, I want to play it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and I figured, hey, since it's not a very common thing to see uh, Game Boy Color games being opened up, I figured I'd share the experience with you guys. So without further ado, let's take a look and see what Deja Vu 2 is all about. All right, well, let's get right into this, shall we? Got my handy little pair of tweezers to pop open the shrink wrap, and uh, we're going to see just what's in this game. There you got your nice little security tag there for making sure no one's going to rip the game off. And if you're wondering why I'm taking the shrink wrap off completely, um, I recently heard that shrink wrap can actually shrink to the point where it crushes the box itself. So what I'm going to do is I actually have uh, clear plastic cases from, I think it's videogameprotectors.com. Keep them minty is what he goes on by eBay, but I have them for the Game Boy boxes. So this is going to go right into that. Looking on to this. Life is never boring when you assume the role of Ace Harding, private detective. In Deja Vu 1, you will scramble down dark alleys of Chicago, searching for a cure for your amnesia and a killer who has you framed for a brutal murder. After solving the first case, you'll uncover a few loose strings that gradually unravel into Deja Vu 2. Trapped in the slimy town of Las Vegas, you find yourself dealing with a notorious mob leader who makes you an offer you can't refuse. That's what's on the back of the box. I'm just not pulling that out of my butt. Curious to see how the color stands up with uh, the original NES game. I'm pretty sure the Game Boy had a pretty limited amount of colors. And what year did this come out? It was 1999. But anyway, we got the shrink wrap off this thing, so let's pop her open. What do we got? Of course, you can't have a boxed NES game without an advertisement for Nintendo Power in it. Let's see, well, how much was Nintendo Power at this point? 1995 for a whole year. I remember when it was 15 bucks when I first got it. We got the game itself still wrapped in its plastic gotta wonder if the save battery is still good after 1999 probably is plastic case for that we got the warranty and registration card consumer information guide and of course 
the wonderful instruction manual. Mint, mint, mint of Deja Vu 1 and 2. Now it looks like we got a poster here. Let's see if I can take this apart without ripping it. I actually hate taking posters apart. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That is the insides of Deja Vu 1 and 2, the case files of Ace Harding. And I'm looking forward to firing this up and playing it. Man, is that a nice, shiny, mint looking Game Boy cart. I love the way the Game Boy Color carts look, actually, with this clear casing. But that's all, guys. Thanks for watching.